Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to another video. I have a 2023 Toyota Sequoia SR5 in army green in front of us. Let me take you on a quick tour. So guys, I just wanna show you this SR5 Sequoia before they take it away from me to go fill it up with gas, but this is what the Sequoia looks like in army green. So take a look. Again, it's an SR5, so we're seeing some chrome up here on the grill. A Little bit of chrome, it looks like, around the window frames. This is uh, the Sequoia with the tow mirrors. So here's the tow mirrors on it. Just kind of freestyling it right now, guys, because I only have like four or five minutes with this Sequoia. Here's the tow mirrors for you guys. I believe this one is the demo one that we'll be able to use uh, tomorrow. I'll be using this one tomorrow, and then that embargo stuff lifts to talk about how it tows. So I think this one just came back from the track area that we're using the Sequoia stuff for. SR5 wheels, those are 18s. Wrapped in Bridgestones, it looks like. Again, these are prototypes. Not sure what's gonna actually be on the production ones. High Force Max Motors, all Sequoias are hybrids, so that's the badging on this SR5. So you can really see the Army Green popping through. Kind of looks like a uh, black plastic again, a prototype. Not sure exactly how these SR5s are gonna look for production. Blacked out Sequoia badging here. Let's go on to the inside. This one has the bolder interior. It does have soft tech seats. So army green on some gray, it looks like. This one has the smaller eight inch screen. Go ahead and kind of start it up for you guys. So it says Sequoia like that, just how it kind of does with the Tundra too. Screen is powering up, so this is the smaller screen. Pretty cool, very small compared to the 14 inch screen. Three zone climate control it looks like, so the rear. Three zone climate control. Yeah, so each person can have their own. So three zone climate control, very nice. Heated seats in this one. So this one must have a premium package to it and not quite uh, the tech package because it has a full 360 camera view on it and it has the trailer backup assist, but it has the eight inch screen. Let's look at the side over there. Go ahead and shut it off. So this one doesn't have the shelf like the uh, like the Tundra SR5 does. So we have a moonroof in this one though, but I'm not sure if SR5s are gonna be able to have a moonroof. But again, this is a pre-production model. Those back doors open up very, very wide, so that's nice. Again, a bolder interior. This one has a bench seat for this SR5. The rear seat passengers can control their HVAC back here. The way you're able to get into the back seats, super simple on these. Those go forward, seat goes back uh, forward pretty easily. You got some steps right here. Step on up into the back. All right, and they're about to take it away, but here's a quick little look at the back seat. I moved the back seat all the way back. I am five foot 11, and this is the amount of room that I have. Five foot 11, I'm Close to touching the back, but you're not really putting a full-size adult back here. All right, guys, so that's a quick look at the SR5. I'll have more videos coming of it driving and stuff in the future. So if you guys are new around here, make sure you consider subscribing and returning subscribers. Appreciate your support. Catch you in the next one. See you later.